Hi all, this is Dr. Reshmi. In this video, we are going to see about postnatal care. Introduction Postpartum period starts from the time of delivery of the fetus and placenta until 6 weeks thereafter. Postnatal care is essential to ensure that both mother and baby remain in good health. It is important to note that postpartum hemorrhage is still to blame for a major chunk of maternal mortalities all over the world. So what is the immediate postnatal care? The first four hours are called the golden hours. Appropriate golden heart care is essential to prevent maternal mortality. Vital signs such as pulse rate, blood pressure and respiratory rate should be monitored at regular 30 minutes interval. Tachycardia, pulse rate more than 100 and hypotension is the first sign of decompensation due to hemorrhage. Tachypnea is usually suggestive of embolism or cardiac or respiratory failure. The uterus is palpable below umbilicus and feels firm and well contracted. A relaxed or dovey uterus may warrant use of oxytocin. The women must be checked for vaginal bleeding. Continuous and excessive bleeding with evacuation of clots on uterine massage is a sign of postpartum hemorrhage and requires immediate attention. Once the mother is doing well, breastfeeding is encouraged. This assists the uterus to contract and promote bonding between the mother and the baby. General Postnatal Care Adequate rest should be offered to the postnatal mother. Early ambulation should be advised to prevent deep vein thrombosis. Fiber-based laxatives may be required in cases with severe constipation. The mother must be encouraged to empty her bladder at regular intervals as a full bladder leads to uterine atonicity and further bleeding. The new mother should take normal diet with plenty of fluids. Daily calorie intake of a lactating mother should be 300 kilocalories more than a non-lactating woman. The perineal area has to be kept clean to avoid infections. Women who had an episiotomy repair need adequate analgesia and antibiotics. Sitz bath also provide relief from perineal pain. The nipples must be clean before breastfeeding the baby. Prolonged feeding and incorrect latching can cause nipple soreness which is treated with a nipple shield and emollient nipple creams. RH negative women who give birth to RH positive child needs to be administered with anti-D gamma globulin. Women with hypertension and diabetes during pregnancy must be reviewed and treatment should be given accordingly. A woman with satisfactory postnatal recovery, a hospital stay of 2-3 to three days is sufficient. Postnatal exercises are taught to the patient at discharge. Iron and calcium supplements should be given for 6 months. The woman is advised to avoid sexual intercourse for at least 6 weeks and also contraception advice should be given. Postnatal checkup. A postnatal visit is essential 6 weeks after delivery to ensure that the mother and baby are doing well. An abdominal examination will reveal the status of uterine involution. A pelvic examination should be done to check the episiotomy wound healing. Breast examination is also done at this visit. Any gynecological problem detected during this visit is treated at the earliest. Other medical problems such as hypertension, diabetes, heart disease are reviewed by the concerned specialist and long-term management plan is outlined. Thank you. Please like, share 
and subscribe if you like this video.